let's talk about what you're doing this weekend. What are you doing this weekend? We're working on the butt groove. That's right. This week, we need you to sit on your couch. Mm-hmm. For America. For Amer- for science. For science. Everything for we do is for science on this show. We need you to sit on your couch and spend the whole weekend watching football. And yes. we're going to tell you how to do that. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell you how to do that. What to watch, especially on Texan Live, uh, but also on other networks across the nation. We need you. We are going to tell you what to watch. Here is your viewing guide, your butt groove guide for week nine. We're going to start tonight, and tonight is Thursday. Day line. I'm going to start on Texan Live. Few games I want you to keep an eye on on Texan Live. The big one kicks off at seven. Mm-hmm. That is Katie Pato and Four Pin Hightower. This game is at uh, Road Stadium. Big time game on Texan Live. Uh, our own Chase Snyder is on the call. That game is going to be a banger. Uh, Four Pin Hightower, I think, is really dangerous. This is, according to my dumb calculation, um, that is not what I wanted. Um, according to my dumb calculation, this is one of the very best games in the state. Mm-hmm. In fact, according you know I do the, my own little in, in internal proprietary formula. For science. Uh, for science. This is apparently, of the 659 games this week, this is the fourth best game in the state. We got on live on Texan Live. That's uh, awesome. Katie Pato and Four Pin Hightower. Very excited to see you. Uh, we're pretty high on Pato. Oh, yeah. We think that they're for real. We think they're legit. Mm-hmm. I also think Hightower's really good. And I think that this is going to be a really fun matchup between two teams that uh, have a lot to prove uh, in this game. So I am very excited about that. Uh, I also want to direct you to um, at six o'clock, and it, this is the same thing we run into in Katie a, a couple of times. Uh, Katie Maid Creek is playing. Uh, uh, Katie Maid Creek is playing Katie Morton Ranch. Okay, um, this is for Morton Ranch. They're on their last legs. They really got to start. They, this is a must-win game for, for Morton Ranch. Mm-hmm. They can't slip up here uh, if they want to try to squeeze into the playoffs in these final couple of weeks. So uh, keep an eye on that one, Maid Creek, um, and and that kicks off at 6 o'clock. The other game I want to tell you about, let me make sure I'm not giving you a dud. Um, I don't know how folks feel about Tom Ball Memorial. Tom Ball Memorial is, uh, they're, I think they're better than their record indicates at 2-5, and five, mm-hmm. but... Uh, they still have a, a bit of an uphill climb. If they're going to start getting into it, they need to get a win tonight over Klein Forest. That's a big win, a big game to to see if they can kind of dig themselves out of the ditch that they've they've uh, they've given their given themselves if they're going to find a way into the playoffs. So those would be two couple of games that I want to recommend to you tonight on Texan Live. Oh wait, hold on, I lied. I got to tell you to do one other thing. Okay, so we're working on the assumption you have three screens, right? Compu- uh, TV, computer, phone. If you don't, if you have more than those, the Venmo is Greg Dash Tepper. Um, there's a game tonight in the college ranks. Do you know this? Do you hear about this, Cap? There's a Thursday game. Six thirty p.m. tonight on the Hilltop. Ah. As number twenty-one SMU hosts Tulane. Um, don't screw this up, SMU. No. You're better than Tulane. Yeah. You're at home. You're coming off a bye week. Don't screw this up. They shouldn't screw this up. I was going to say, don't screw don't it up. Go into another long weekend. I don't That's think they're going to screw this up. up. But keep an eye on it. Kicks off at 6.30 on ESPN. Um, I I am not Sonny Dykes. I'm not Sonny Dykes. That is a factually a fact. true Everyone statement. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I've been saying it for years. I'm not Sonny mm-hmm. Dykes. And I'm not Rashad Samples, the assistant head coach of, of um Okay, see, that one, that one surprised okay, me. I'm also not Rashad Samples. Okay. I bet both those guys hate this. I'll tell you why. For what reason? Because I think they want to be at high school games. And yeah, they'd rather be on. A, if you want to talk oh, yeah. about, if you, I think, if you want to talk about a staff that most especially hates playing like on Thursdays and Fridays, mm-hmm. even though the AAC does this all the time. Yeah, for coverage reasons. I bet Rashad Samples and Sonny Dykes hate this, but they got to do it because you got to pay the bills, right? Uh, anyway, Tulane and SMU tonight, six thirty p.m. Friday! Dateline! Thank you, Pickle. Jeez. Sorry. Sleep at the wheel. <laughs> Sleep at the wheel. Um, six o'clock on Texan Live. Uh, I want you to watch uh, Katie Cinco Ranch and Katie Taylor. Now, Katie Taylor's having a disappointing season. And they are, that's here. a big reason why... Uh, Katie, Taylor be, uh, Katie Taylor is a big reason why... Um, 
you know, like things got kind of screwed up in mm-hmm. District 19 6A. Why Morton Rand is paying or uh, playing but for it's, their But livelihood. it's like why, like, it's, you know, be, now it's going to end up being about the same. But we thought that that, that basically solidified that Katie was going to go um, going to go to the D two bracket mm-hmm. um, because Taylor is going to is going to drop out. Right. But Cinco's got to be playing for third at this point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now Cinco, Cinco, kind of in the same way we were talking about with Morton Ranch. This is a this is a game where for Cinco you cannot slip up. Mm-mm. You cannot slip up. This goes hand in hand with that game. Oh, jeez. This goes hand in hand with that game that we were talking about with Morton Ranch and May Creek mm-hmm. on t- uh, tonight. So that's important tonight. Real big district implications there. Things really get cooking at seven o'clock. Yes. Things really get cooking at seven o'clock. We got a bunch, of, a buttload of games. That's a scientific term. A buttload of games. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. I want you to watch North Shore and C.E. King. Okay, I like it. Uh, this is C.E. King last week against Tascosita. They they took their first loss of the year. Can they bounce back against a North Shore team that I feel like we haven't paid enough attention to, but they are really starting to get it humming, especially mm-hmm. offensively. Um, very excited about that. But well, Marshall, and then the following week they have mm-hmm. a task of Cita, so that's mm-hmm. this. You need to close mm-hmm. this one before you head into that next one. Mm-hmm. That's at seven o'clock. I also want you to keep an eye on in that same district. And we've been talking a lot about nineteen six A, but it's a really important week. Tompkins and Seven Lakes. Now, I don't expect Seven Lakes to win this game, but if they do, then they're feel they're. I mean, they already feel really good. Mm-hmm. This would be like icing on the cake. This would be that buffer win that they would really need. So keep an eye on that one. Um, I also want you. What do you want? Uh, the next one I really want is seven thirty. So well, I'll, there's a couple. Here's the thing. That's yeah. at seven. I'm gonna exit seven o'clock now. I'm gonna go to seven thirty because there's yeah. a couple. There's a couple that I want you to watch. Crosby like, and PNG. Boy, there's like th- there's like three. Yeah. I want you to watch Crosby PNG. Okay. I want you to watch uh, the game. I'll be at Caronimo Navarro and Wimberley. <laughs> Right. See you there, and Jared. I also want you to watch Lake Travis and Austin Bowie. Now, I think Lake Travis is going to win that game, mm-hmm. but keep an eye on because Bowie is Bowie's the third place team in that in that state. Yeah. those are two playoff teams going at it there in that one. I would also recommend you mentioned Crosby PNG. That's a great game. If you are into this kind of thing, Maybank and Chapel Hill. This is desperation time for Chapel Hill. Mm-hmm. This is like a must-win game, and this Which is we a didn't better, think at this, this point. A, yeah, no, they were number five in the state. Yeah, this is a must-win game for Chapel Hill. And Maybank is better. Maybank is is clearly almost drastically improved. Yeah. So that's a game to keep an eye on. So look, there's a huge slate of games. I also want you to go WFAA.com. Our friends over there are going to have uh, Duncanville and Cedar Hill. Mm-hmm. Now, Duncanville is going to win that game. But it is the first ever football game to be played at the GILF, at yep. Globe Life Field. Um, so... I want you to watch that game on WFA.com as well. A bunch of different places you can go. Uh, and I believe CW33.com is going to have uh, – this is yeah, this is tonight. I believe they got South Lake Carroll and, and E. They do, yeah. Let's get my friend Chris Mikoski, uh, the sideline reporter on that one. So that would be a game I certainly mm-hmm. want to keep an eye on as well. Okay. That, I just gave you a lot. Also, yeah, I was going to say another game that I don't, I don't know if there's a stream of it, but San Marcos playing tonight. Um, that – with their win – Last week, oh. that kind of uh, oh, San Marcos del they Valley. Can, they San can Marcus, creep up. San Marcos del Valley. We'll is have highlights of an, it on uh, Valley. Yes. It's an extremely important game. Mm-hmm. Extremely important game. Suddenly, yeah. So uh, that's one. So if there's a stream, drop it in the in, in, in the uh, the Facebook comments. Saturday Dateline. Okay, it's big week of a uh, big week of uh, of college football. So we're gonna start there. Um, if you are into this. Uh, we do have a no- we have a nooner and a one on um, Texan Live. on Texan Live, um, Ridge Point and and Four Pen Elkins. I cannot in good conscience recommend that you watch it, but if you want to watch Four Pen Ridge Point, who I think is a really good team, you can watch that. For Bridgeland, Bridgeland plays Cy Springs, and kind of the same situation. A lot of that comes down to whether or not Connor Wigman plays. Um, I don't think he will. I don't. And I anticipate they're probably this is probably a get right game where mm-hmm. they're like give them a week off and stuff. They should beat Cy Springs, so I can't necessarily recommend that game, but. Those are on Texan Live. 11 a.m., uh, Kansas State goes to Texas Tech in an extremely important game that we will talk about with Ishmael Johnson coming up here in a moment. 1 o'clock on ESPN Plus, get the wallet out. Texas State is at Georgia State. Uh, 2.30, Rice is at UAB. Sad. 
Uh, 3 p.m., speaking of sad, Liberty is at North Texas. <laughs> Extremely sad. sad. Also at 3 o'clock, much better game, East Carolina, who's better than you may realize. East Carolina's at Houston. That game's on ESPNU. Five, uh, we'll talk about that. 5 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Midwestern State's at Tarleton in an interesting D1 versus D2 mm, I like game. That. Um, we'll talk about that coming up here in, in a little bit. 6 o'clock. The night slate's a little interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's three college football games that kick off between 6 and 6.30. I want you to watch UTSA and Louisiana Tech. Because yes. UTSA, that's a that's a real important game for them to go on the road to, I think, a desperate Louisiana Tech team. Yeah. And make sure you... Yeah, you, they're hoping that that's an upset game make sure for you, them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can make their year if yep. they, can, they can ruin UTSA season. So keep an eye on that one. That game's on Stadium. Um, TCU hosts West Virginia in a really weird game. That's always a weird game. Um, 6.30 p.m. Saturday. That's at Amon Carter. Um, and then uh, A&M is playing South Carolina. A and M's gonna murder South Carolina. South Carolina is v bad, so don't watch that. But Saturday on Texan Live, you can keep an eye on. Did you know that Houston Stratford is undefeated? Houston Stratford is undefeated, and they've got a huge game this week against Cy Creek. And Massive game. What uh, does huge games call for? H- big time broadcasters. Big time broadcasters. We got Gavin Moritz and Matt Step on the call. Let's go on Texan Live. So make sure you watch that. Uh, Beaumont Westbrook plays uh, Umble Summer Creek. Chase Snyder's on the call on that one. Mm-hmm. That game's going to be interesting as well. And then I will also throw you over to Langham Creek and Cy Ranch. Yep. Interesting game. Cy Ranch, is there a look-ahead thing? Because next week they get Cy Park. Is there any sort of look-ahead? Langham Creek still kind of clawing for a playoff spot. Uh, Michael Silvers and Brent Hallmark are going to have the call. You're probably going to have your eye on that game, aren't you? I'll probably get some eyes because I'm going to have to do a little bit of scouting because mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be calling uh, Cy Ranch next week. So that is how you can spend your whole weekend sitting on the couch. But groove. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.